Buongiorno, welcome back to my channel. Today I was a little bit inspired by the weather and my mood and decided to share with you my go-to cozy scents for the winter time or colder days. So if it's cold where you are and you are looking for a cozy scent, then this video is for you. But before we start, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Noura and on this channel I mostly talk about fragrances. So if you are a fragrance lover, then please consider subscribing and also hit the notification bell so you will get notified when I upload a new video. Also go and follow me on Instagram where I post some exclusive content that I don't do here on YouTube. And without further ado, let's start. First of all, I have to apologize if you hear any noises. My neighbors are doing some work now for a couple of days, so if you hear anything, I'm so sorry. Now let's start our list and Usually when I think about cozy, cold nights, I usually gravitate toward certain notes. So it's usually musk, vanilla, amber, and also woody fragrances that, are, that tend to be on a very sweet, smoky side. So let's start the list with musky fragrances and of course like the king of the musk is Narciso Rodriguez. I have here three uh, that are I would say my go-to scents. Um, I have here Pure Musk, then there is a Musk Noir and the recently released Musk Noir Rose which I just did a review on uh, which I will leave linked up here in the description down below so go watch it uh, if you love musky scents. When it comes to musky scents if you want a, like a very heavy musky scent that will that is clean but not sharp, go with pure musk. This one is extremely cozy. I wore this a lot in 2020. Uh, it was my go-to scent for a lot of occasions, for cozy nights, for a bed scent, and it's still a beautiful scent. Then uh, came out last year Musk Noir, and this one, uh, is a musky scent with a beautiful plum in it so it's a little bit sweet uh, it has a fruitiness to it and also a powderiness it's a stunning stunning fragrance i also have a review on this one if you want to watch it again you will find it here and in the description down below but honestly when since they came out with musk noir rose this one has no place in my collection. I am using it just to finish the bottle because it is a very, very beautiful fragrance. I have a full review on the new one, as I said. Uh, so definitely check that out if you are deciding which one to get. Basically, this is a warmer, more floral version of the original one. And actually all three of these fragrances are not very long lasting. They are like the perfect scents for a bed scents, for cozy nights. This is the perfect occasion for all three of them. Uh, I would also include Narciso Rodriguez Poudre, which I can find. I don't know where I put that things. I hope I did not forget that one when I traveled. Anyway, what really differentiates Narciso Poudre uh, from this is that definitely Poudre has very good lasting power, it performs very well. So I wouldn't really categorize it as an intimate fragrance, but the powderiness present in that fragrance definitely makes it very, very cozy, at least to me. If I have to choose between the four that I mentioned, I would say go with Musk Noir Rose, but if you are going for a clean vibe, sometimes you are like that. Sometimes I want to feel cozy, but I need a very clean scent at the same time, then Pure Musk is the best. So for cozy masks, definitely Narciso Rodriguez is the best. Another one that I have that is musky and I really like to wear in the same occasions like Narciso Rodriguez is Musk Chamel from Armani Privé. Of course, this is on the bougie side. Uh, it's definitely more expensive. This one I would say like pure musk is more if you are going for also a very clean vibe. This one is also very addictive and extremely unique. I have to mention that this one has like for me at least 
an awful opening i don't like the opening at all but the dry down i absolutely love the dry down is this musky warm clean with a little bit with a hint of amber just stunning the amber here reminds me a lot of the same amber that is used in ambre centrico which is also on my list by the way um so if you take the amber in ambre centrico it's the same one used here i wouldn't categorize it as an amber fragrance it's definitely more musky uh, musk is really predominant here it's also one of my go-to bed scents uh, so yeah if you want something more unique uh, if you want a clean musk then musk shaman is for you now let's move to vanilla and definitely i have to include this one this is vanilla diorama from la collection privé from christian dior this is a gourmand fragrance that is just stunning 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 it's kind of an orangey vanilla dessert has a slight spiciness in it, in it from the cardamom, a little bit orangey. It has a bright opening, but in the dry down, it's very warm, very addictive and extremely inviting. It's a very inviting scent. A perfect cozy night fragrance because the performance again is not really great, but the scent itself is amazing. If you want it to last, spray it on your clothes. If you spray this on your clothes, you will get this beautiful scent bubble that will remain the whole night and even the day after uh, when you spray on clothes. Every time you wear the same clothes, you will smell it. So vanilla diorama for a spicy gourmand vanilla. The next one is recent to my collection and that is Vanilla from Aqua di Parma. Again, ignore the opening. The opening of this fragrance is a little bit strange and messy in my opinion. Aqua di Parma tends to have the same opening, so the bergamot, so it's quite citrusy bergamot and so, but mainly this is a powdery vanilla. Very cozy, extremely cozy. I would say from all the fragrances that I mentioned till now, this is the coziest. I don't know, powderiness in general is um, is a characteristic that I find very cozy in general. And the powderiness comes from heliotrope. So this is a vanilla heliotrope combination that is just stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. It's not a big on the sillage or a longevity. I have a good layering combo with this one. I layer this with Mandorlo di Sicilia, which is also from Aqua di Parma. If you want to make it a little bit of a gourmand fragrance, you know, then layer it with that fragrance if you have it. This fragrance is definitely on the pricey side, but yeah, the vanilla here that is beautifully combined with the heliotrope is just amazing. And again, if you have this one and you have Mandorlo di Sicilia, definitely try to layer both of them together. It's killer combo, trust me. Another gourmand fragrance that is extremely unique is Winter Palace from Memo. Mm, this is so beautiful. This is a gourmand tea fragrance, extremely unique and extremely addictive and very very cozy it smells exactly as if you are drinking some black tea sweet black tea with lemon cake this is how this fragrance smells like it has an ambery base but honestly it's tea with a lemon cake for me it has also an orangey touch to it i have quite a ritual when it comes to this fragrance i usually wear it when i have a piece of cake or ghetto something sweet and i want to watch a movie so i have my tea and my dessert and i'm watching a movie i always wear this fragrance when i have this kind of ritual when compared to the other fragrances that i've mentioned except the poudre from narciso this is definitely better performing i wouldn't say it's very long lasting or or, or projecting it's more of a moderate longevity and sillage but i 
yeah I just love it and it's one of my favorite from the brand definitely I saw this fragrance in a lot of people's collections that are that have really different tastes so that says a lot so winter palace from memo now let's move to amber and my first pick is from Lerbolario Mejares a very very cheap fragrance and a beautiful one it's woody it's spicy it's musky it's ambery uh, it is compared or it is considered as a dupe of Musk Gravajour uh, from uh, Frederick Mal. never smells that fragrance so I can't tell but if it's in the same family like this one I would definitely love it it's more amber than musk it has also vanilla and some moody notes but it's just a stunning blend and this one has a very very good performance this lasts very long it doesn't i wouldn't say it projects like crazy it's not a beast mode but it has a good projection especially if you overspray ambery fragrances in general i tend to wear when there's a fireplace on or it is extremely cold and we have the heater on yeah i usually go for uh, ambery and woody fragrances so if you are looking for a cozy amber that has amazing performance and also affordable you can't go wrong with maharis from l'herbolario next amber fragrance i have to admit i don't use so much when i want to feel cozy but also want a kick out of my fragrance and that is Ambre Eccentrico. This is a very spicy amber. <sighs> stunning, stunning, stunning. One of the best amber fragrances on the market. If you love amber and you love spicy cinnamon fragrances, definitely check this one. This is a beast when it comes to longevity, but not so much on projection. Of course, if you overspray, you will get it, but I wouldn't recommend it because you will suffocate. You are warned so for cozy occasions i spray this only once uh, on my clothes and that's it and it won't go away anywhere the, uh, my clothes will smell like it until i wash it so for an amazing performing spicy amber ambre centrico from armani Pre. now i have saved the best for last this has everything that i want for a cozy fragrance it's woody, it's ambery, it's a gourmand, uh, it's extremely cozy, it doesn't project very much, it's a little bit spicy but not too much, it's just the perfect blend and that is Rouge Sarai from Atelier des Orques. Addictive, addictive fragrance. You know when there are these sweets that you can't stop eating when when you eat one you just can't stop and you have to finish the box this is how i behave with this fragrance once i spray it i just can't get enough and i continue to spray it and spray it and spray it it's very woody as there is guayac wood and sandalwood but overall it's a gourmand fragrance it has dried fruit it has plum it's sweet and sticky but in the best way possible the woody undertones of this fragrance really help to lift this fragrance up and doesn't make it too sweet because I'm not a fan of very sweet fragrances. This is just stunning, stunning, stunning. This is the best from Atelier des Orgues in my opinion. And so if you are a gourmand lover and you love woody fragrances, you have to check Rouge Sarai. Now, these are the fragrances that I actually have in my collection. I do have two other recommendations for you. One is a very famous one uh, that everybody talks about, especially for winter time, for cozy nights. And that is By the Fireplace from um, Maison Margiela from the Replica line. Uh, it's exactly what it says. It's a little bit smoky woody somewhat sweet uh very unique fragrance it has chestnut in the notes i think there is vanilla my only issue with this fragrance is that it is really smoky so you have to be okay with that if you are okay with smoky fragrances 
this is amazing performs very 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 well uh, it's definitely one of the best sellers from the brand for a reason it evokes like sitting by the fireplace and maybe eating some chestnut so cozy there is also vanilla so it's a little bit sweet and warm just amazing an amazing fragrance uh, i am still on the fence about to be completely honest because on my skin the smokiness is too much on paper it's different on paper i really really like it but unfortunately my skin chemistry doesn't work very well with that fragrance my other recommendation would be from bdk and that is rouge smoking don't be fooled by the name <laughs> so when i first uh, ordered my samples from bdk i thought that i am going to get a fruity smoky fragrance and i was really really excited so i imagined it to be like rouge like rouge sarai but instead of the dried fruit there is a cherry note it's not like that uh, this is mostly a sweet cherry fragrance with vanilla uh, i think it has um, heliotrope because there is a powderiness in it unfortunately performance on this fragrance is not great uh, but if you love cherry, this is one of the best cherry fragrances on the market. It's definitely warm and cozy and sweet. So if you love cherries and you are okay with the performance, I would definitely recommend Rouge Smoking. So that was it. That was my list. I hope you liked this video and you found it helpful. Please tell me in the comments down below what is your go-to cozy scent during the winter. I'm really curious about that. So uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell. I have quite exciting videos now in the month of January and I'm going to upload a video every day where I do like a 2021 recap. So the best and the worst products. So definitely uh, hit the notification bell. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Ciao.